All right, uh, we're going to take a look at multiplying uh, polynomials for, this is uh, unit six in our book. This is uh, arithmetic of polynomials. We talked about adding and subtracting before. That's pretty easy. Multiplying polynomials, we're going to do very much the same way that we multiplied uh, binomials when we were working with the quadratics. And in order to try to avoid making mistakes on things, I'm going to use an area model to do this. So one of our polynomials we're going to put on one side. And we'll put the other one on the other side. And so instead of writing this as one giant length times width, we are going to add it or, or show it as the sum of the individual areas of these things. So and uh, this box up here, the 2x squared times the x cubed gives us a 2x to the fifth. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. We got x squared times x squared, that's x to the fourth. 2 times 2 is 4. x squared times x, that's x cubed. Uh, 2 times 7 is 14, and we got an x squared from the left there. On our next row, then, the negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and x times x cubed is x to the fourth. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. x times x squared is x cubed. Negative 3 times a positive 2 is a negative 6. x times x is x squared. Negative 3 times 7 is a negative 21, and we got an x over there. In our final row here, uh, we've got a 5 times the x cubed. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 x squared. 5 times uh, 2x is 10x. And 5 times 7 is 35. Now, one of the things that we notice when we're going to add these things together is because we had no missing degree on the way uh, down here. It was x cubed, and we also had the x squared, the x to the first, and the constant. The x squared, the x to the first, and the constant coming down the left-hand side that our diagonal elements will contain like terms. So that's where we need to look when we're putting things together. We're going to start with the uh, 2x to the fifth that we had in the upper left. And then our x to the fourths, we had a negative 3 and a negative 6. That's negative 9 x to the fourths. Our x cubes are all on this one. 5 plus 9 is 14 plus another 4. That's 18 x cubes. Here are the x squareds. A negative 15 and a plus 14 is a negative 1. Negative 1 and negative 6 is negative 7 x squared. 10 minus 21 is negative 11x, and then we have the plus 35 at the end. So that is our answer. When we multiply uh, that quadratic times the cubic, we get a degree 5 polynomial with uh, 6 terms. Remember that using the area model is not the only way uh, to do this. Um, it is a way that uh, is a little more foolproof on the side. You're not going to miss any terms because that would mean leaving a box empty. We're also going to use this uh, area model for lots of other things that we're going to start to see um, how it ties what feels like different concepts together all into the same concept for us.